We turn our attention now to the two Democrats in this race. Let's meet them. 8th District Congressman Stephen Lynch and 5th District Congressman Edward Markey. According to a WBUR poll released this week, candidate Stephen Lynch is 11 points behind Ed Markey, but Lynch says he's not worried. I always feel like I'm an underdog, uh, but I, I like that. I, I, I've had three of these special elections, and I, this is probably the best I've been doing in any of those elections, and I won all three. So uh, I guess I'm more comfortable in the, in the underdog role after you've been there for a while. Um, I'm always outspent, but I'm never out hustled. Though the underdog Stephen Lynch had just as many supporters as Markey did outside the television studio before their first televised debate on Wednesday. Many said Lynch's blue-collar background represented working people. Because it's for the people. Stephen Lynch for labor. We're union carpenters, um, and he's our man. Stephen Lynch is definitely uh, represented. He's actually walked in our shoes. We're with Stephen Lynch because he's one of us. Markey supporters, however, are skeptical of Stephen Lynch's ties to the Democratic Party. I sometimes think that Stephen Lynch is sort of a closet liberal Republican, you know, uh, and so he voted against the health care, as you know, and a number of other things. I don't really feel like he represents me uh, as a Democrat. Markey also had his own rebuttal to Lynch's working class themed campaign ads. Will I run an ad saying that I am the first in my family to go to college, that I had to earn every nickel of tuition uh, to go to college, that, uh, that I had to uh, actually essentially live in Malden and not be able to go to Boston College and Boston College Law School and had to work my way up with uh, no mentors? Will I run an ad like that? I don't know. I might. <laughs> well, you just did, I guess. And, um... If you could run it in its entirety, I would appreciate it. Markey also shook off comparisons of his style to previous Massachusetts U.S. Senators. John Kerry was a great senator, so I would just hope to be able to uh, serve uh, in the same seat that he served in, but uh, being a better senator than John Kerry or Ted Kennedy uh, is just not something that uh, it's reasonable to, uh, to try to aspire to. I would just try to be the best Ed Markey I could be. Uh, as a senator. Both Republican and Democratic candidates fought a hard battle tonight at the debate. The primary is not until April 30th, so there is more time for discussion. Reporting from WCVB for Boston University News Service, I'm Brooke Singman.